Some time ago I showed you what const expres and how to use it. Now let's take a look at two extensions to that mechanism, const eval and const init. First let's quickly recall what a const exp function is. Such function, if certain conditions are met, can be run at compile time, thus producing the result when the code is being built. For example, the following function is being run at runtime, as we can see in the assembly. We have a variable named c, which equals to sum 1 and 2, and sum is a simple plain function, and we can see here it's being evaluated at runtime. When adding const expr, the function is run at compile time. Here we go, there is no more sum function, we already have the result ready right here in the assembly. Constival makes this more strict. It requires the function to be run at compile time. In our example, nothing seems to change if we switch from constext to constival. Constival, and we have the same assembly output as before. But when we try to force the function to be called at runtime, we get an error. So let's introduce a variable named a here and pass it to our sum function. And here we go, we have an error. The value of a is not usable in a constant expression. That is true. We can use constival when we really want to force compile time computation. One use case mentioned in the original proposal is removing value producing macros in favor of real functions. And all of that without the fear of adding any runtime cost. Next, we have constinit. Constinit can be applied to static and thread local variables and forces them to be zero initialized or initialized with a compile time constant. For example, let's remove this code here and introduce a static constant. Constinit static int a equals sum of 1 and 2. Since sum is constival, constinit allows a to be initialized with a constant computed at compile time. But when we remove constival, we get a compile error. Here you go. So why use constinit in the first place? Well, the main benefit of constinit is ensuring a variable is properly initialized when it's referenced by another static object. Static variables, which are defined in different source files, well, technically different compilation units, can be initialized in arbitrary order at runtime. For example, if we have static variables a and b, and during its initialization a references b, the process might experience undefined behavior because the referenced one might not have been initialized yet. Consignit eliminates this problem by forcing initialization at compile time. It's either initialized or we get an error. Okay, I hope you found this informative. I hope you know what constival and constinit is. If you have any questions, post them down below, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.